everyone, welcome back to Shelby on Safari. And if you're new, hello there. So guys, it's really exciting because when I was going through our cockroach colony, I noticed a white Madagascan hissing cockroach, which got me thinking. There's not many videos out there explaining why this happens. And so today, if that is you and you're wondering why on earth do I have a white cockroach in my colony, well, look no further and let's get started. To best answer the question, let's have a look at Cockroach Anatomy 101. Cockroaches are insects, and that means their bodies are divided into three regions, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. They also have three pairs of jointed legs, one pair of antennae, and a rigid exoskeleton. And it's this exoskeleton that will be the key to answering our question. Why did I find a white cockroach in my colony? Like other insects, cockroaches don't have bones inside to support their bodies like we do. Instead, they rely on their exoskeleton, which is the hard outer covering that keeps everything, well, inside. This exoskeleton is comprised of chitin which is defined as a fibrous substance consisting of polysaccharides, which is the major constituent in the exoskeleton of arthropods and the cell walls of fungi. But because exoskeletons are hard, they don't grow. But what happens when your cockroach grows up? Quite literally, because they get bigger in the inside. Actually, kind of like the TARDIS. So when they get too big in the inside, the cockroaches actually grow a replacement. This new exoskeleton develops beneath their old one. And when they're ready, they will shed their old exoskeleton. This process is known as a molt. Madagascan hissing cockroaches usually will have around six molts, reaching adult size in the seventh instar, or stage. And after they shed their old exoskeleton, they emerge white, like this guy. It's unusual to see a cockroach after their molt when they are white like this, just because of their own behavior. Because all their muscles are attached temporarily to this squishy white exoskeleton, white roaches don't move very fast. And their soft shells make them easy to attack, so they hide. So albino roaches aren't rare or an unusual new species, they're just growing. Over the next few hours, this little guy's exoskeleton will harden thanks to a hormone called bursican. Not only will the hormone bursican help to harden their exoskeleton, but make it darker as well. Now, a word of warning, because their exoskeletons are so soft when they're white, do limit handling them. This little guy actually crawled onto my hand while I was trying to film with the macro lens, so it lends itself to some good footage. But because they are so vulnerable, do take care. Let them just be and grow, and be happy that they are outgrowing their old exoskeleton. That means you're helping them to become happy, healthy cockroaches. If you haven't already, check out my video on the Madagascan hissing cockroaches because you'll learn what this is and why this is important for the cockroach. Now, if only I could get it in focus. There we go. I'll also put the link in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you learned something new, why not give this video a thumbs up? Don't forget to let me know in the comments below which animal you want to see next in my animals and superhero comparison series. I really love making those videos and I can't wait to create more. So let me know your thoughts. If you haven't already, be sure to click the subscribe notification as well because you are not gonna wanna miss all the content headed your way. And I feel that Kiana's coming. Oh, that was Kiana jumping on the table. Here, let 
Let me flip it over so you can see her. There she is, she's stunning. Hello, Kiana. Kiana. Gorgeous girl.